Ahoy hoy, Jesse Tattoo here, and today we're gonna do a slaughterhouse build. Yeah, woohoo! And uh, yeah, this was suggested in my comments, and I've never seen a slaughterhouse build in Ark, so it piqued my interest. So let's do this. Woohoo! <laughs> Now keep in mind, as I build this, um, I have not done a whole lot of build videos, so you're going to have to bear with my little mistakes as I plow through this a bit here, but uh, I wanted to make this look like a pretty sterile factory, and I think I did that. And right quick here folks, if you could do me a big huge favor and go down there and like this video, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not already part of the Cool Kid Club. I post videos almost daily. Anyway, let's get back to this. Okay, we're going to start with 43 stone foundations. Keep in mind, my math might be off. <laughs> but these are just ballparks anyway, so just do your best to follow along if that's what you're doing. Alright, and this is my backyard, and it's all stone dino gates as a corral. You can set this up however you want. Alrighty, now we need to put some ramps to funnel these dinos into the killing floor. Pick the one end um, with the one single row of foundations and just start putting four ramps down here. Um, yeah, not walls, ramps. And sometimes they don't want to go down just right. Clunk, clunk. And you just got to move around until you find that sweet spot. And now you just put some walls along the back side of these ramps. Just four along here. And then trying to get the ramps to snap to the other ramps instead of the wall is kind of a pain, but there you go. And once you've got one down, the rest should fall into place pretty easily. Boom. Alright, looks good. Now I'm going to put some windows in here so we can see what's going on on the killing floor. Four along this wall here just like that. And then four regular walls above that. Alright, and then you want to put two more up here, just regular walls. And then we want to grab some fence foundations and on the opposite corners, stick one on either of the corners. One um, just right here is fine doesn't matter which direction that one is, but this other one, do it um, horizontally like that so that we can stick two uh, separate pillars down. We want to stick one in the corner here like this and one there. And they, they not only look better in the long run, oops, they not only look better in the long run, but they'll help hide any cracks or inconsistencies due to the way you want to put the walls in. You go a couple high. This one being a little bit higher than the other one. I actually went too high on that front one, but I'll go back and fix that later. I went one too high with it, but hey, we all make mistakes. And uh, in the inner corner here, I want to go stick one more down. Boop, right here, so that we can stick another pillar down. Alrighty, then we go back in here, and we're going to start laying down some more walls. Go along the back side right here. Plunk, plunk, and plunk. Rinse and repeat. Go along here. And just do one past the, that final pillar. Now we're going to go over to the corner of the kill box. The opposite corner, rather. And uh, just start laying in more walls. Now you have to switch these over. They're going to want to um, be pointing in the wrong direction and for aesthetics I like the stone to be on the outside not the wooden foundation stuff because I'm gonna actually use this as an outside wall um, the rest will fall into place but you need to be a little bit careful when you first lay them down that they're all lined up correctly and there's no gaps and then uh, you should be good to go from there to so just uh, plow them all in once you get your first row down the rest should fall in place fairly well Alright, as I'm going by, I just got some walls in my inventory. I'm going to add a layer to this wall. And now, 
I'm going to put down some ramps on the inside of the kill box. Um, find a good lower snap point if you can. Uh, it's not always perfect. You know, you do your best. And then sticking in these uh, is, is a bit of a bugger. I couldn't really get a good snap point, so I just had to kind of try to line it up, looking at the bottom, looking at the ramp, just trying to judge what looked even. And I actually got a pretty good pretty good lineup, to be honest. I had a little bit of troubles. I ended up fixing it later, but uh, it was pretty good. And then the rest will snap into place. I did, like I said, have a bit of troubles with this final snap. This one snapped to a lower point. I ended up going back later and uh, readjusting it. I didn't really notice, but it left a big ugly gap at the top and it left me quite triggered. <laughs> and again, you want the lower snap point for these ramps here. Add these ramps in. And then right here as well. I sort of let this uh, side be sort of like a loading bay so you can transport uh, uh, big dinos full of meat. And then we got this uh, into your little room here. We're gonna stick some stairs up in here. Go up to the second floor here. All right, and now a bit of roofs. Let's plunk them in. Leaving a two gap for the stairs, otherwise you bonk your head. And you gotta be able to get up here. here and then some more window frames here so I can again see the killing floor I'm gonna go solid wall at the end here because that's just the ramp you don't really need to see up there and I'm gonna put one window here I wanted to stick it here but it it kind of gets covered by the grill later so we're just gonna put the one at the end like that and then over the stairs I'm gonna put more windows like that Alrighty, and then some more walls along the side. Now right here, this end piece is where I actually messed up. Um, I'm gonna delete this, and I, as you can see, I went one pillar too high. Um, so again, nobody's perfect. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you correct them. <laughs> Learn from your mistakes. And I wanna put a slanted piece in here and over here. So I can put a, a slanted roofs in, because uh, I mean, as much as I want a square box, we want to bust it up a little bit and give a bit of uh, realism to it. And, uh, I don't know, just make it look a little different. And then you can slap some roofs up on this bad boy. Again, actually, right there, I learned another valuable lesson. Trying to stick in new roofs it was switching the roofs because it was snapping, or sorry, switching the walls because it was snapping to the roof. So I ended up having to destroy those two guys, tear down a couple of the, the ceilings, um, and then put it in proper. And, uh, you know, hey, lesson learned. See, I did that and it looked okay, but it, it wasn't lined up right. Um, so like I said, I had to actually get rid of the ceiling here because um, it was trying to snap to the ceiling. So there is actually a process as far as um, putting certain things on first. Now I don't claim to be a perfect builder and I don't know all the tricks, but generally they will sort of fall in suit. But there are weird little quirks like that with arc building that uh, if you want to have a good looking clean build, it's what you got to do sometimes. Alrighty. Now let's fill in this little gap right here. Plunk, plunk. And then uh, we'll fill in the ceilings here. Now I gotta, I gotta jump to actually make them, to make the height, but uh, eh, so be it. This is where I noticed that the front window, or front uh, uh, archway was not lining up, as you can see a little gap up there. Like I said, I ended up coming out and uh, trying to fix it here. Um, it took down too many, but, uh, yeah, whatever. I'll fix it all. <laughs> Line these two up again. Now, this one here, I ended up, the snap point wasn't half playing, so I just kind of floated it in and found a good spot that looked about right. 
and uh, it looked pretty good to me. It lined up, there was no more gap at the top. Trigger gone. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. Hmm, speaking of little gaps, let's get these guys filled in right here. I just noticed them. Bam. Much better. And while we're at it, let's add some more walls. Let's clear this up. Now, here's what I was talking about earlier. I went a little bit too high with that one pillar there. I wanted that to be flush with the ceiling, but... Yeah, just uh, pack in the walls here. Yeah, see, too tall. One, two, boom. That looks good now. As I said, it's okay to make mistakes, man. It's how you learn. It is okay. Now we're gonna slap a bunch of ceilings up on this. I thought about leaving a, sort of an open concept for an airdrop, but it looked ugly. It didn't look like a factory anymore. And the reality is, I had that giant pen. We can use that for airdrops if you want. Let's just fill in the ceiling. Uh-oh, what's that? Oh no! Ugh, more triggered weird arc build crap. Okay, well, let's get rid of all this. And uh, it's snapping to the wall, so once you line it up right, it should be good. There we go. That looks better. Now, line the whole ceiling with some stone railings, because they look sexy. Boom, like this. And then hop over to one side here with the, um, with the slope on it, the sloped ceilings. And uh, I'm going to stick some along here, too. Because they look good. Okay, looking good. We're getting there, getting close. Now it's time to start filling in some of the interior. So let's start off with putting some stone uh, railings down here. And then uh, I'm gonna bust out some fireplaces so that we have some working smokestacks. I'm just gonna try to line these things up here along this back wall somehow. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Just try to get it close to the wall and with enough, uh, enough space that you can get in between the two of them after so that you can uh, add more, uh, more fuel to them to keep them smoking. Now I'm gonna grab some industrial grills because we're not actually gonna cook in the fireplaces and just kind of line it up and plunk it in front of that like so. So it almost looks like the, the, um, the fireplace is like an exhaust or a, 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 a smokestack from the, the, the grills. Yep, see, they look pretty good like that. And you can fit in between them to add some fuel to those two uh, fireplaces. Now, let's do some doors. Oop, earthquake. Let's get these doors in quick. Ah, I feel safe in here. Open sesame. Open everything up. There we go. Now, start filling this place up with a bit of stuff. Let's throw some uh, creepy cages down here because they're creepy and it seems like something that would be in an animal slaughterhouse. Some storage because you need storage. Everybody needs storage. And then some smokers preserving bins because, uh, well, jerky, meat, um, and just a uh, uh, powerless preservation and a table to fill in this little gap here just because it kind of looks ugly and uh, we'll stick down one of those so we can make some spark powder for the preserving bins etc etc and have a place to store your rotten meat and uh, now we're gonna stick some torches here in the killing floor oh, there we go my little my little shine horn lit it up for me. How convenient that I was showing you torches and he lit it up for us. And again, the torches, there's no right or wrong. You just stick some torches in here. Throw some fuel in here. Fire them up. You know how to use torches. <laughs> there we go. Bam. 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 And a side of ham. 
done. All right, now onto the side loading bay. Let's add the rest of these um, railings in here, just so it looks a little more complete. Looks good to me. There we go. Beauty. And now let's stick uh, all of these uh, rest of the gates in here um, for our uh, our corral. Plunk. Now nothing can escape. All right. Now go back in upstairs. Plunk down a couple of uh, reinforced windows. Not on the killing floor side. I like being able to peek in, watch them raptors shred everything around. And now we need a signage because uh, people got to see. People got to see what you are. And uh, is this a petting zoo? No, this is not a petting zoo. This is a slaughterhouse. The house of happy times and blood and meat and steaks. Oh my. Okay, so once you're all set up, you got to get some raptors. Or, well, any, any aggressive thing will do. Oh, Goldie, she's so pretty. Yes, you are. Um, you want uh, a bunch of aggressive dudes, and you want to come in here, and you want to switch them on to um, Stance Aggressive, and then Enable Wandering, and let them kind of all wander around in here. Aggressive and enable wander. And there we go. They're all set on wander. Um, they're even mate boosted. And uh, they're all set on aggressive. And they can't get out. They just sit in here. And uh, and they love it, apparently. <laughs> so. Whip yourself some parasaurs. Yeah, yeah, move along, little doggies. And they will run up the ramps into the killing floor. <laughs> and you can just keep wild animals in here, or you can drop them in here and uh, have them get up there. They don't listen very good, though. <laughs> they don't go where you want them to half the time. There you go. <laughs> and the spoil time on dinos is four times greater than it is on humans. Oop, another one wandered in. <laughs> good boy. And girls, good raptors. Yeah. Who's a good pet? Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Uh, that's where the cool kids hang out, man. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.